The first chapter introduces to you about data analytics. At the end of this chapter, you should be able to explain about the concepts of data analytics, its importance, and give examples of its application in industry. People have said that a prediction is worth a thousand chance. Think of it. Imagine you should you are able to come up with better decision making, for example, in stock um, decision making. You want to decide whether you want to invest or not invest, what is the current price, or in the um, example of COVID itself, the government comes out with decision on whether to execute the uh, control movement order or to allow people to go back to normal. So all these are supported by data analytics. The concepts of data analytics can be explained by the uh, science behind it. So we rely on the data to come up with decision and then the techniques cover several approaches like inspecting, cleansing, transforming and modeling the data. So imagine that we gather the data and then we want to try identify the trend um, and we need to, uh, before finding the trend, we need to remove all the uh, anomalies or all the um, noise in the data. By relying to this more informed decision making, people can can identify the risk or identify the reliability of certain uh, motion when they do their uh, decision making. In terms of efficiency, um, compared to uh, without the decision making uh, driven by data analytics, people would not be able to optimize uh, the actions. Now, I've been talking about decision making. What are the steps? Imagine that you want to identify a decision. Let's say you want to, um, let's say um, you are in the team uh, that involves um, on the decision on whether to proceed with the control manage, uh, movement order or not uh, regarding to uh, COVID. You first need to identify the decision and then you gather information. And then you identify what are the alternatives. Should we go um, lockdown for the whole country? Or just selected places. Then you look into the data, the evidence. From this data, you identify what are the best options. So this is the part that data analytics plays its role. Then you take action and of course you want to review your action from time to time. There are four types of data analytics. The first type is called descriptive data analytics which focuses on what has happened over a given period of time. Diagnostics analytics focuses on identifying or over some hypothesis you want to identify is there some correlation between one action and another behavior collected by the data. To be able to predict the predictive analytics, identify what is likely to happen, what would be the probability and even to identify uh, what would be the score of something to happen. The prescriptive analytics allows you to um, identify what will be the suitable rules or action given that a certain um, action is likely to happen. Depending on some predicted action, you want to prescribe what is the suitable action to intervene or uh, to avoid uh, something to uh, bad from happening. The technologies for data analytics can be divided uh, into the cloud infrastructure, the open source platform networks, and the data intensive technologies. So when we talk about data analytics or data mining, we depend on the cloud infrastructure which relates to how now people get the data. So um, if Internet of Things is one of the um, norm technology norms right now people use sensors to collect data then all those data need a warehouse so this warehouse again is in the cloud infrastructure and imagine that there is some framework which is uh, which can um, support the uh, data management and then from the data uh, which is in the virtual um, background the virtual environment we apply artificial intelligence and machine learning um, using several uh, programming language 
for example the uh, several programming languages like Python, R, Java, Weka. Data can be useful in many many ways. For example, healthcare. In the example of COVID, for example, for health surveillance and community sustainability. Now, think about Uber and Grab. The transportation. Uber depends on the um, data, the hotspot, or the number of people demanding for um, for ride. So from that data, they decide uh, what is the suitable rate to charge people and also how many drivers to recruit and they could even identify the peak time. Now, in the entertainment, the Netflix. Netflix study what are the um, people's uh, preference and they identify what are the uh, people's score uh, rating over some movies being um, viewed. Similar to the um, Amazon, for example, and even Facebook. They rely on the user behavior and Google rely on the user behavior and data analytics is behind to be able to identify what are the uh, preferred um, items to be watched by certain user and they personalize the items to be recommended to the user. Let us consider COVID-19 as a specific case for data analytics. The WHO has come out with a dashboard. I'll take you to the dashboard now. So this is the dashboard by WHO. Inside this dashboard, we are able to see by this density of color, the um, number of cases. And we can also interact with this map. But compared to the um, more traditional tool used for data analytics, such as Excel, we are able to generate a charts but for us to do um, more informed decision making, we need in more interactive means of manipulating, manipulating the data. Uh, now consider this uh, WHO COVID dashboard. The information being um, expressed here, being represented here is the number of cases, number of confirmed cases and we can see the trend of cases is going up, is hiking. Now consider another um, tool, another dashboard for COVID-19 tracking called Corona Tracker. Again here, you can see that data analytics rely on visualization and allows the um, interaction. From this, we can manipulate the data and then we can um, interact with the content inside the data so again here look at the similarity number of confirmed cases here number of um, recovered cases and the number of deaths so another important aspect for us to consider when we are designing a data analytics uh, application is the content of the uh, data that is being expressed this is another um, link that tells about the um, COVID-19 surveillance and the analytics. So the key, concepts, the key concepts are that people wants to report, then wants to uh, uh, know what are the hospitalization rates, the mortality reporting, and so on. Another uh, dashboard is as shown here. So this is also a global map with even more information being provided. So look at the colors and look at the uh, information being represented in the dashboard. Another example as I shown here by Tableau, developed by using Tableau. Here we can also manipulate and change um, the information to drill down more information that we want. COVID-19 is very useful to predict what is the trend, whether people need social, people have been um, conforming to the social distancing orders and um, what are the first peaks and what are the um, other peaks. This will be the activity that we are going to do on the Titanic survival. 
coming back to uh, data science. Data science is a multidisciplinary um, problem. And this relates very much to data science, data analytics. Someone who aspires to be a data analyst needs to acquire all these competencies, the machine learning, databases, data mining, visualization, and pattern recognition. So data science refers to the ability of someone to identify what is the behind, what is the story behind the collected data to come up with this data science um, data science um, approach we apply data analytics and we use also data mining and data mining relates to data analysis these slides explain to you the differences between the terms we are going to do also this activity on big data analytics Many companies have been benefiting from uh, big data analytics such as the uh, Pepsi, McDonald's, even Starbucks. Right. There are certain processes to come up with data analytics um, application implementation. We are going to have a specific chapter on data analytics processes from the requirement specification to collection and then to exploring the data to Reprocess the data and then execute the machine learning um, algorithms and to communicate or to express. Data analytics techniques can be divided into two the descriptive analytics and the predictive analytics. The uh, descriptive analytics is to um, depends on the human interpretable interpretable uh, patterns to describe the data, while the prediction uh, methods, the predictive analytics, use variables to predict unknown or future values um, based on the data. The data dashboard relates to the expression, how we communicate what we identify based on the data, while uh, the machine learning algorithms that we are going to explore can be classified into uh, four types classification, the prediction, the clustering, and association. So in this slide, I have, identified, I have expressed to you, I have highlighted the types of machine learning algorithms. You are going to use this in the activity and the uh, assignment. When you come up with a model, machine learning model, you are going to evaluate and these are the metrics to be used. And then finally, um, you would acquire the ability to communicate uh, the results this is as, uh, another example, Google Analytics example. So look at the um, examples or different types of uh, graphs uh, that can be used. The data analytics benefits are many to unlock data into gold, reduce unnecessary spending, and uh, mostly to uh, support on the decision making. So this is the end of module one. See you next time on module two. Thank you.